Win Behind the Sales tells the story of the people and ethos of OCBC over 85 years. The Wall Street crash of 1929 led to the decade-long Great Depression, the worst economic and financial catastrophe in history. Faced with the fallout from the crisis, Chinese commercial bank, Ho Hong Bank, and overseas Chinese bank decided to merge to survive. On October 31st, 1932, an overseas Chinese banking corporation was created. Its headquarters in China building at Chulia Street overlooked the Singapore River. OCBC Bank was then the strongest and largest local bank in the Strait Settlement. In 1938, Mr. Lee Kong Chen became OCBC's chairman, modernizing the bank, introducing reforms, and more importantly, setting the foundation of its culture and values. Mr. Lee brought on corporate governance and steered the bank using principled management. This differed from how most other Chinese banks operated at the time. Mr. Lee's belief in giving back influenced OCBC's strong CSR culture. By the 1950s, OCBC was offering bursaries and scholarships with no bonds attached. OCBC also supports the community at large as the premier sponsors for the Singapore Sports Hub and Gardens by the Bay. As OCBC expanded, its China building headquarters had to make way for its growing needs and was demolished in 1970. The OCBC Center, an ambitious $100 million project, would replace the China building. Ayam Pei, an internationally renowned architect, was commissioned to design it. OCBC Center was officially opened on October 1st, 1976, as Southeast Asia's tallest building. These stained glass panels were preserved from the old China building headquarters and show how the founders of OCBC Bank saw its role in helping the community. The bank is a pillar of society. It is only when others grow and thrive that the bank also prospers. OCBC made its largest acquisition in 2014. Hong Kong's Wing Hung Bank became the centerpiece of its Greater China strategy. Although OCBC's share price initially fell when it announced the bid, its board maintained it was right for the bank in the long term. OCBC's share price rebounded after the completion of the deal. The son of Mr. Lee Kong Chen, Mr. Lee Seng Wee, who is OCBC's director for 50 years, he and Mr. Tio Cheng Guan, a former chairman and CEO, once told a senior executive at his brokerage arm that OCBC is about integrity and that it is possible to be a good broker and make an honest living. Prudence, integrity, and taking a long-term view. This remains at the core of what the bank stands for. As OCBC charts the way forward and navigates future challenges, it will always be guided by these values. <laughs>